now that we've gone through the the Australian phase, yeah, but, now we're in the whiskey. We're phase. getting there. We're getting Are there, we yes. in the whiskey we're, phase? We're building it up. Yeah, we're right. it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we we in end of 2019, we as a company decided to be a beverage company, and I applied for the for the role of next generation beverages, which included overseeing spirit or venture into spirits. And so that it was finally my chance to exercise a dream I've had for 20 years. And I'll, I'll tell you a story. So I was back in college and- um, Where'd you go to college, by the way? Went to college up at Cornell. Okay. Uh, in New oh, York. Yeah. yeah. And I went to Rutgers. So oh, there you use go. Cornell for turf stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah. We did research projects with them. Nice. Uh, yeah, it was- it, I, I'm sure people care about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had a blast up there. But just started dabbling a little bit in whiskey in the later years of college. And I remember being home for winter break and I'm driving with my dad. We're in, we're in the Suburban. He's driving. And I just look over and say, Dad, why don't we make whiskey? And he didn't even look over at me. He's got his hands on the steering wheel. He just says, we're good at one thing and that's beer. <laughs> well, and you're like, Dad, but beer turns into whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was the end of the conversation. I wish I was more of a rebel and I wish I would have uh, had some 20 year old whiskey right now to share with you guys, but, but I wasn't the rebel. I said, okay. And I went on my way. So, but ever since that moment in time, I've always just been intrigued by the space and been a casual consumer of whiskey. Do you, um, before we get yeah. there, do you remember during that time, like what you were drinking, like what was your, what were you pulling off the shelf or, I mean, if it was college, we we're probably running around mixing it with Coke or doing something, but yeah. do you remember what was your, well, your it, it, so the, the first First whiskey I really remember was Crown Royal on the rocks. Yeah. And um, it's because I had uh, a cold and my dad poured me a little Crown on the rocks. And what a dad. I'm, I'm not I'm not being a doctor here, but I woke up next morning. My sore throat was gone. I felt great. And I was like, wow, there's something to this whiskey stuff. <laughs> my head hurts, but my, <laughs> my throat feels great. Yeah. <laughs> and, but that was like, literally is that moment in time. I was like, wow, this is, this is interesting. And I, Magical. I, I did not geek out back then and on a college budget and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I was, yeah, we we're doing all the typical stuff of, of mixing and, but I was, I was still a, a beer guy. And I mean, that's, it was like, Coors Light and Keystone Light all through college, right? That was that was the go-to, and I think um, so. yeah, you'd probably be banned from the family if it wasn't <laughs> like that. You know. We didn't have our own whiskey to drink, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it just always intrigued by it, and it was very casual. And then over the last probably five years, you know, you you have friends and everyone's getting in this whiskey space, and and I look at it as that step beyond craft beer, right? Where the craft beer drinker. They explore all these different breweries and they start out with amber ales and ended up with double IPAs. And now they've kind of maxed their bandwidth of what to learn. And then you go up into whiskey and this is the experience that I had. I was like, holy cow, there's so much more to learn in this space when you're talking about charring of, of the casks and all the grain bills and the different TTB definitions of, of what there are. And, and I was just really amazed by the category and was also casually exploring it with some friends. Mm -hmm. 